Craft and Company, pioneer designers and builders of television stations, takes you behind the scenes in this series of telecasts to see how television ticks. Haven't you wondered sometimes how television takes your eyes and ears to distant points? Wondered how a baseball game, a sidewalk interview, or the activities of an airport are televised? Well, the Austin Company invites you to come in and see. Many television programs originate from the brightly lighted, soundproof, air-conditioned studio, where directors, cameramen, and engineers have control over all conditions that contribute to good television programming. But many programs come from the television station on wheels, a mobile unit which can televise events far from the station building. Within a present-day mobile unit, are television control facilities similar to those permanently installed in the station building. The chain of equipment which brings a baseball game to your receiver might look like this. The television camera records the batter taking a mighty swing at the ball, and the announcer tells you it's a home run. The best picture is selected and adjusted for quality, sent on its way with sound to the station. Viewed in the station once more, the program is sent by cables or by radio relay to the main transmitter out from the towering antenna to the television receiver screen. All this happens instantaneously. The instant the batter hits the ball, you and other thousands in the television audience see the swing and hear the crack of the bat. There are no scenes retaken, no second guessing in television. Here, a mobile television unit arrives at a municipal airport to televise the arrival of a celebrity who has news value for the television audience. From the time the unit arrives at the point of pickup, and establishes communication with the station, the chain of personnel and electronic equipment goes into action. The directional antenna is installed to beam the event to the station's relay receiver. Also, cables and wires which connect the control unit with the cameras and microphone are prepared. Television cameras are moved to an advantageous position to cover the landing of the plane and arrival of the celebrity. Here, two cameras are used. Camera number one is placed on top of the trailer to picture the arrival of the plane itself. While camera number two is nearer to pick up a close view of the plane door when it's opened. The announcer can move his microphone still closer to record the interview. Inside the mobile unit, the director and engineers have made precise adjustments of the controls and have word that the station is ready to receive and transmit the arrival of the plane. Camera number one is in focus. The announcer and cameraman pick up their cue, and the program is on the air. Instantly, on your receiver, you see the glistening plane come to rest. On his viewing screens, the director sees what each camera is taking, and on the lower screen, the picture that is going on the air. A switch is made to the close-up picture from camera number two. Cameraman number two receives his signal that he's on the air with his picture. The announcer moves in. And once more, you have a front row seat for a bit of history in the making, made possible by a coordination of men and women and electronic equipment unmatched anywhere in the theater, radio, or motion pictures. Television stations designed by the Austin Company take into account all of the complicated equipment and the programming facilities required for television. Modern, thoroughly functional designs like these have led to construction of television and radio stations like American Broadcasting Company's KGO transmitter near San Francisco, ABC's new transmitter being constructed atop Mount Wilson near Los Angeles, and ABC studios in Detroit, Chicago, and Hollywood. Austin constructs buildings in all parts of the United States and in other countries of the world. Many of the industrial plants designed by the Austin Company are known as controlled conditions buildings. Buildings with year-round temperature and humidity control, sound control, and controlled lighting. From a chemical plant in Texas to an aircraft wind tunnel in the state of Washington and back to a food processing plant in New Jersey, these buildings provide efficient operating and efficient working conditions. With its engineers serving industry in cities from coast to coast, the Austin Company builds small buildings and large for all the great industries that make America great.